Well, it's one of the most uh, beloved landmarks in Dallas, and you, you might not know it, but back in the day, White Rock Lake was a popular swimming spot. So why isn't anyone swimming now? David Schechter dives in. White Rock Lake is the crown jewel of Dallas parks. Biking, running, sailing, kayaking. But how about swimming? Should you swim in White Rock Lake? I would advise uh, against it. And I have seen people, you know, swimming, but I was like, I don't think they should be swimming here. You know what? I was thinking about taking a dive over this. What do you ask that? So should you? I'm going to verify that. Kind of excited. I think it's going to be a little choppy out there. Very windy. He's going to make sure you head into the wind. John Young is my paddleboard guide. Is it likely that I'm going to fall into White Rock Lake? It's possible that you will fall in today. Super windy out there. The board is shaking all over the place. For the record, I got pretty good balance, but it's hot, and I decided to fall in. John's saying it's OK to fall in, but swimming, that's against the law. Do you think people know you can't swim here? I'd say 85% of the people don't know, and we have to educate them on that. Uh, whenever they come out, they ask if they can go swimming. We have to tell them no. Um, it's a city ordinance. No swimming? Why is that a city ordinance? Back in the day, White Rock was a super popular place to swim. There's a bathhouse there and a giant lawn for sunbathers. And to help me figure this out, I'm deep in the basement of City Hall to meet John Slate, the city archivist. We're proud to take care of the historical side of the city. He's going to show me the history of swimming in White Rock. So where do you keep those records? Those records are back here in our vault. Can we go into the vault? Yes. We're in the vault now. It's the 1939 dredging that everyone's they're still talking about this dredging from 39. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Oof. I mean, you see the pictures of swimming at White Rock, it was definitely a thing, right? Yes, it was. And it was a, a, a big deal for swimming and boating in the 30s and 40s and into the early 50s. So what changed? Slate's telling me there was a drought in the 50s and the city needed more water. This 1959 city ordinance booted out the swimmers declaring it shall be unlawful for any person to swim, deposit any trash, urine, excrement, or filth of any kind. That's gross. The city health officer at the time, J.W. Bass. Uh, Us, J.W. Bass. Dr. Bass The said, plot thickens. Yes, Dr. Bass declared that uh, White Rock could not be both. That it wasn't sanitary to be have swimmers in, in drinking water? Right. In 1964, Dallas stopped drawing water from the lake, but the law is still on the books. So legally, you cannot swim in White Rock. But could you? Like, is it clean enough? I'm with Richard Grayson now on White Rock Creek, which feeds into the lake. He leads 75 volunteers who take regular water quality measurements across North Texas. It's beautiful in here. It, it really is. Scoop some water in there and tell me what you think about the, the clarity of the water. Okay. And smell it. It's slightly brownish. I don't smell anything. Mm, that's good. Maybe that's, some old that, socks. That's excellent. But... Richard's telling me this creek starts all the way up in Frisco and it brings pollution on its way down. You guys keep records in this creek and others. What's the water quality of the water that's going into White Rock? Uh, as, except for the bacteria, it's good. The bacteria like the E. coli? E. coli, yeah. So are you telling me Frisco's poop is in this creek right now? Probably some. Frisco. <laughs> Not like poop poop, but fertilizer runoff and animal waste and just trash in general. So basically, this is like a drop of lake water. Yeah. Just not much more. Richard's tests show the creek and the lake are healthy for fish and birds, but in places, the water here is five times above the limit for safe swimming. Is the lake polluted? Is that the problem? 
it, it's impaired by bacteria. Starting to regret that whole jumping in the lake thing. We can't handle it. We get sick. We get the runs. You'll be squirting from both ends. <laughs> can't wait. We're fortunate to have a lake that so many people love. But can you swim in White Rock? No, it's against the law. And even if it were legal, you shouldn't because it's kind of gross. And that's our fault. We don't take very good care of our lakes and streams, and so they're not going to take care of us. We can't swim in them. Got something you want verified? Send me an email. Ah, hey, Richard uh, says that falling in White Rock Lake likely will not threaten your health, but you should clean up as soon as possible. 